Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's continue our complete beginner's guide and beyond of Project Zomboy. And oh my god, my taxi is not doing well. Uh, but at the same time, we're doing well. And we've been skilling up, getting new stuff, and we have managed to get some food and such, make our way back here, which is exciting. I'm going to put these maps away. They uh, actually take up more space than you think. And just kind of get ourselves organized. Now, on this, uh, we have a broken uh, garden fork. We have a bunch of garbage bags to make another rain collector. And we have a bunch of gas cans. Now, we have this full gas can, which I could take with me if I wanted to. Um, hot wire a car somewhere. And then pour in the gas. That's certainly an option. I'm going to go ahead and just take these maps and just kind of dump them over here. Don't need to carry them. And I'm feeling good. All right. So our operation continues to be the same. Up our metal working. We can dismantle cars. We need a um, certain tools to do that. Some of them are in the trunk of my taxi, I believe, like a lug wrench, you know, on and on. But that's not as important to me right now as some of the other options that we have. Now, let me look in here. Like, I do have empty gas. I do have a lug wrench. I have a jack tire pump, all of these things that we could, you know, feasibly use. Now, it is worth mentioning, let me uh, sort these by category. I have a shotgun, but then I have a bunch of stuff that's like, we just don't need it. So let's empty out some of the extra stuff that's in here that we really, really don't need at all. Um, is this school bag filled? It is. And so is this trauma bag this trauma bag is actually quite useful for certain things but i don't believe i think i have everything i need outside of that and then all of this the ammo for the different guns that, that aren't a shotgun we could just get rid of so i'm going to try to put as much as i can into my backpack i know it's not all going to fit We actually did pretty well. And now you could see the space in the trunk is significantly freed. Now, our car does need work before that's even an issue. But at the same time, um, it's important because... There's some stuff that was in that trunk that we might actually want to use. And I might have just, like, forgotten that I even had it. So... If I look at my skills, just for example, first aid and tailoring, too. If I go over here and I go to my skills and I say, how's tailoring? Tailoring is good. First aid is not trained at all. So we might want that. So let's go to this bookshelf. And we're going to just open up here into the skill book section. Where did I put these things? Um, here they are. Oh, that's right. This bookshelf is full. So we actually didn't have first aid one, which is crazy. And we did have, we have plenty of tailoring. <laughs> so anyway, just as a interesting aside, but we'll go ahead and get these over here. All right. Now let me look at what is in this school bag. I'm just going to kind of put it on the ground. And I'm going to go inside it. What's in here? Yeah, this is like a good bag for when you're out and about. Um, the gas can, of course, is important to us for our operation. All of this other stuff is just good first aid equipment. So, for example, we could put it in here. Try to put all of that right in there. Extra flashlight. Good. And then in my bag, I also picked up a bunch of, uh, you know, electronics and things that I just don't need. All 
uh, aluminum, for example. I got a bunch of junk food, but that's okay. And then this is just trash or whatever. Goes right in the trash can. Then um, I'll close this window up. I'll put the ammo away. Um, go in this one then. Okay, much better. I'm going to get rid of these jacket, the leather jacket. I can, uh, you know, wash the leather jacket here. Let's see. Can I wash this terrifying leather jacket? Not right now because I think it's in my bag, so I can't um, do that. I think I need to put it over here, and then I can tear this up for strips, and we can work on tailoring at some point. Something to think about. Wash the leather jacket. Um, there's two of them. Not enough soap, so it's slower. Uh, do I have any more soap? I guess I need to start carrying more soap. I usually have this stuff. Eh, no. But it's really not a big deal right now. We'll worry about that when I want to just... Um, do more tailoring. Okay, and then I'm going to put the gas can over here with the other ones. So when we go to the gas station again, we'll be all set. All right, perfect. Perfect. All right, let's roll. A bunch of stuff on the ground here. Okay. So let's look at the map. And we really did a good job here. We were up in this area, just searching through everything. Might want to go back to the weapon house, actually. That's a very nice house. Let's see if they have the mask that we're looking for. The... Uh, Welder's mask, and also see if they've got, you know, good stuff. More garden forks, for example. Let me zoom in. You know, you never know with this kind of an area. This car right here, we could actually see how it's doing. But before I get too excited about that, let me just make sure there's nobody peeking in on us in here. You know how it can be with these houses. You think everything's okay, and then bam. Uh, mechanics tailoring, nice. And uh, metalworking. And when I get to Metalworking Volume 5, I'll know I have really made it. Now, what do we got in here? A cleaning liquid. I mean, that, that's got to count as soap, right? I mean, I would assume so. Again, dust mask, brutal. Safety goggles, brutal. Welding rods, but not the full-on welding mask plastic chair wooden chair electric wire all right let's see what you oh i have the key to this car too that's kind of cool looks like this trunk is all empty um how we doing in the glove yeah okay Uh, 
Um, we're not doing good. And this is because... Looks like the engine has got big problems. Actually, no. It's just out of gas. I mean, you look at everything, it's in the green. This car is ready to roll. And it'd be really nice and nimble. Just needs a little gas. Just needs a little gas. Yep, that's all. Great. Alright. Well. We can do that. Let me actually go to the map. Pause it. Where am I? I'm here. Just going to add a little note. Um, car needs gas. Great. And we're going to just push escape a couple of times. Unpause the game. Let's check out the weapon house, see how it's doing. Boy, not going well in there. That's right. Yeah, of course. I mean, they've got shotguns everywhere. They've got the spear with the scalpel. Actually, that spear with the scalpel. Yep, here's a garden fork. Its condition is poor, but it's there. Yeah, the uh, spear with the scalpel is something that... That's what we're going to get into. Um, is more of making spears at some point. Once There's a lot of denim in here, too. Once we run out of the ability to, yeah, grab that brown sugar, um, the ability to use garden forks, then we're going to be like, all right, we need to go into spears. Oh, I forgot about this. There's all these good painkillers, surgical gloves, baseball bat, hand axe, metal bar, now you're talking... Canned food, yeah, all of this. Put this in the bag. We could chill it if we need to. Oh, ice cream. It's not bad yet. It's still early enough in the game that this melted ice cream is still good. And it'll boost us up so much. It's so many calories, like we're going to get fat. But at the same time, wouldn't you eat some ice cream if you found it in the apocalypse and it was still good? All right, let's see here. This is the kind of house where I'm like, you would have a welder's mask, wouldn't you? Just lying around. Machete, love it. Crafted spear, hammers, spiked baseball bat. There's a full-on axe. Um, this is actually... Uh, we want this. A full axe is better, I think, for uh, cutting trees, all kinds of stuff. Electrician. Bibbidi -bobbidi. Pencils. Bibbidi -bobbidi. Oh boy, what a house. It's basically just, you know, enough weapons for the entire game. It's great. Carpentry, sheet of paper. Okay. Cooking, newspaper, dead mouse, food. All right. Alright, fair enough. I think that's it. But, what a house. Alright. Oh, what? Um, did I check these books? Yeah, they do have first aid one. Okay, that's fine. Well, 
What's in your entryway closet? Nothing. Okay. Here we go. Here's a shed, too. They have a nice grill. We already have that. Maybe they have a propane tank on that, though. And there it is. Welder mask. Finally. All right. Put it in the bag. So this should let us... I'll take some metal sheets. I don't even know. This might be too heavy for us, but we'll see about, like, can we weld with this? And what can we do with this? Now that we have all the pieces, we've got the propane torch. And we've got the welder's mask. We should be able to start, like, dismantling or disassembling major appliances. And maybe that will raise our skill. It's a happy day. We're encumbered a little bit. I'm not worried about it. All right. So I'm going to put away... I think it's safe for me to just, in the garage, I'll just kind of put the metal sheets and stuff on these shelves in here. Wonderful. All right, and I'm going to go dump off my food. Okay, get this out of here. I'm going to put the axe um, maybe out in the garage. And I'm going to get the propane torch. Now this propane torch has plenty of fuel remaining, so I'm just going to grab it. And then I'm going to go out. I'm going to go next door and just see if I can take apart, like, I don't know, their stove. Some of this, like their bathtub, some of that stuff, you need um, that kind of equipment for. Right, I'm going to go on the shelf, and I'm going to just uh, put the axe on there. All right, let's see what we can do. Like, for example, this uh, metal work. Um, no, not that, but V. Um, vehicle mechanics. Like, if I wanted to fix the hood, I could repair it with a wooden sheet and some screws. I have the skills that I need. So I have a metal sheet, but I need screws out here. All right, let's get some. I've been seeing a lot of boxes of nails, not as many screws just lying around, but that's okay. We'll find it. Um, I know I had some across the way. Either way, let's just go over here. We can keep an eye out. There's a construction site that we can ransack. And we'll just sort this by... Um, tool... Beep, 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 box of nails... Beep, beep, beep. No, it doesn't seem to be any in here, unfortunately. That's what I was really counting on. Um, oh, here we go. Box of screws. Oh, there's five of them. Alright, grab them all. Great, we'll put those outside. 
and then we can use the metal sheet that we got out there. Fix our taxi back up. Get this baby rolling again. All right, metal sheet. Um, I think you can actually like just uh, put it so it's like on the ground nearby, like we have across the street, and then you still get the benefit without like breaking your back. I think it's how it works. Let me see. Let me double check that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, push V, vehicle mechanics. I'm going to go in here and click on this and I'm going to right click the hood and I'm going to say. Okay, so what I said about the metal sheet being on the ground. Um, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> also, I think that the screws um, may have gone in here. And we're just going to, you know, um, unpack. And. Uh, open one box and then hopefully now I can fix this yes all right it's got 30% and I can repair it again with another metal sheet which we'll just grab all right we fixed it a little bit now the windshield is just missing so I think we'll have to extract a windshield from some other car. Uh, and then the engine. Um, repair engine, but we need spare engine parts to do that, right? So we got the hood fixed up a little bit, which is cool. Now I'm going to just take my stuff over. I'm going to go next door and just see about taking care of business on their appliances. All right, so... We go in, and let me just look at their stove. And I can say, disassemble modern oven. I've got the welder's mask. I've got the torch. I only I have a small chance, but let's just see if it does anything for us, right? Um, I don't even know what skill it will benefit. Is it mechanics, or is it... Um, it's metalworking. Perfect. All right. Let's see how this goes. Yes, look at us welding with a blowtorch. This is what I've been waiting for. I don't think it's going to go well, but I'm loving that this is an option for us. Now, there could be benefits. We put in multiple ovens so that we can cook a lot of things at once. But um, in my experience, what would happen is I would probably just as soon set the house on fire twice. Now, what if I, um, like these shelves, for example, these are nice shelves. Everything they got here is great. I can take these apart and put them in my house if I wanted to. Um, we have everything here, but I think you could just pick them up. I don't think you have to, to disassemble them. This is just, and I don't really want to disassemble them. I, I want to, um, pick them up. And so if I empty it, I think I can do what I did before. Like you pack them away and you carry them and stuff. Now, I'm going to be, be walking around looking for stuff to break. Yeah, like these shelves. Take this. All right. Um, so this, it, um, this battery, we just go put it here. This CD goes on the ground. Now, let me just see. Let me check out my skills. And metalworking is here. We got 7.5 points. Disassemble large metal shelves. Hit it. And let's see what happened to metalworking. Oh, we got a ton. Look at that. And there's like a metal bar and, you know, some really nice unusable metal. That's awesome. Um, can I take apart these filing cabinets? I sure can. Can you empty it just by right click? No. Okay, that's fine. Hole puncher. They're like, no, you can't take it apart. There's a hole puncher in there. You can break it. Go break that puncher. Can't do it. 
Alright, well, here, get rid of this thing then. Hit it. We didn't produce anything valuable, but... Metalwork went up. Get this stuff. Get it on the ground. Disassemble the filing cabinet. Burn it. Bam! Disassemble the desk? What's that? Carpentry? I don't know. I mean, I feel like breaking everything. That's a good idea, but... Uh, no, I'm just going for metal work, and I'm having a blast. What you got in here? Light bulb? Um, can I disassemble these shelves? It's metal working. There's a light bulb on the shelf. You cannot take them apart. I will now. I didn't produce anything useful. That's fine, because my metal working is almost level one. I mean, we're getting there, people. I got the welder's mask on. What are these shelves? These look wooden. Yeah, that's, uh, that's carpentry. What about this chair? Oh, that's metalwork. Disassemble the blue plastic chair. Yes. I don't know how you would weld it, but that's sweet. It doesn't add a lot, but anyway, um, get this stuff on the ground. Burn it. Bam. Burn this. By the way, I'm just pushing F5 to speed up time while I'm using my blowtorch. And you can see that metalworking is well on its way. So now I'm just going to be... <laughs> this is such a great game. I'm just going to be walking through everybody's house, breaking everything that they have just to get more skilled. They're like, did you need to break all my stuff? Well, of course. You turned into a zombie. What do you care? I guess you're, I guess you're right. Wait, what do you mean tool propane torch? Oh, did it run out of propane? Where's my torch? Oh, what did I do with it? No, no, you... Pick it back up, but it's out. Okay, so I need to top it off. All right, so I was having a blast doing that. It does raise a lot, but it uses your propane. So uh, let me see if I could just fill it up with my own propane here. All right, so um, propane tank. Uh, I mean, let me see here. How, how do you do this? I'm holding a torch. Okay. Um, refill propane torch. Yeah, it's right there. So I'm doing it. I'm taking it from the container. I'm filling it up. And then let me see what... You can see it has like about 60% left and our torch is full. Sweet. Okay. And to put it back down on the ground. In a position that our taxi will probably hit it and explode. So I might want to move that. But all bets are off because I've got a torch. Did you have a washer and dryer set, you say? You mean you did have a washer and dryer set? Disassemble it. Bing. Disassemble this one. Crunched it. Metalworking is almost there. What is going on here? Can I disassemble your entire fireplace? No. It's getting dark. That's a sad reality that gets in the way of... I could just turn on my blowtorch for a light. Okay. We're in the house. And look what they've got. They've got a stove. Ding! Metalworking level one because of our blowtorch. How about that? That's so awesome. All right, so we finally got a blowtorch. I'm going around. I'm breaking stuff, but I now need to keep an eye out for a few different things. What are those things? Well, if I want to go on just like blowtorch runs, that's something else. Uh, this light, I could probably turn this off. It's okay. 
Um, but I need engine parts to fix my car. More metal sheets and stuff like that. We could start gathering that. But I am a new man with a mask and a mission. Everyone, I think we're doing great. We've got all sorts of different little projects we're working on. Our character is skilling up beautifully. And now we've, for the first time, disassembled major appliances and have our metalworking going up so that we can tinker around, get some more cars going over here, bring them over, and even, if we want, start reinforcing our house with iron um, or, like, steel... Pl uh, not plates, necessarily, but walls. Everyone... Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing all of your tips and advice. I'll check you guys in the next episode of our Project Zomboy Expose. Take care. <laughs>